Hello, uh, my name is Julie. I'm a PhD candidate at the in the CS department. I also work at um, Information Sciences Institute. And today, the title of my talk is broadly speaking, insights from social network data for mitigating online harm. So I'm really just representing my entire lab here. We're the Humans Lab. I think it's a very cute acronym. It stands for Humans plus Machines plus Networks plus Society. So basically, you kind of get the gist of it. We study how people behave in online systems and the implications of that on society. And some of the problems that we solve or trying to solve here are um, harm specifically that arise from interpersonal social media communication. For example, polarization, online hate speech, misinformation or disinformation, coordinated activity that might harm like election integrity, um, and also things that might uh, uh, impact people's mental health online. Um, I would like to specifically talk about a very cool recent paper that we released as a preprint online. Uh, it's called Social Approval and Network Homophily as Motivators of Online Hate. And it's not published yet, it's under review, but it's already been gaining some social media or like mass uh, uh, new media attention. It's a very cool paper. Hopefully you check it out. There's a poster about it later too. Um, but basically the idea is that we look at the you know, the motivations behind online hate speech. And if you don't know what hate speech is, it's targeted offensive discourse at someone or at a group of people based on attributes that you shouldn't target anyone based on, like race, religion, gender, etc. And this research um, survey from Pew Research back in 2021 showed that almost half of people on the internet experience some form of online harassment. It's a very pervasive issue, not just on social media, but also in online games. So I think it's a very big issue that we really want to tackle. Um, and this research motivated from this theory of online hate proposed by Professor Joe Walter from UCSD. He proposed this idea that hateful behavior might be fueled or reinforced or exacerbated by social approvals from their network. So it's not because they want to attack the victim as much as because they're driven by positive reinforcement from the social network. And so this is a theory and we want to test that this theory is true from empirical research. Um, and we want to dissect this into particularly two research questions. The first one is that we want to see whether hate speech behavior is indeed linked to the social network. Is there kind of network effect at play here? And then the second much harder question is that we want to see if social approvals can impact online hate speech. So, I mean, the first question, oh, oh the data that we're getting is a large scale Twitter data. We crawled um, historical tweets by a set of hateful users that were previously identified. And we looked at all their retweet interactions, engagement cues, a bunch of other features that might be relevant at play. Um, so the first question was relatively easy to answer. We just wanted to see if there is like a networked effect at play here. And to do that, we used some like network statistics, ML algorithms to just see if there's network homophily. And yes, we did in fact see that uh, people tend to preferentially attach themselves with similarly hateful users. So if you're hateful, your friends are also kind of hateful. If you're not so hateful, then your friends are also not so kind of hateful. So it just, uh, you know, corroborates <laughs> <laughs> this idea that there's a social network effect here. Um, the second much harder research question to answer is whether social approvals do impact hate speech. And I, I'm pretty sure my, my emojis looked cuter on my laptop. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, but basically we wanted to see whether uh, past um, like social approvals can turn someone's average toxicity up or down. And there's a few problems with this uh, like simple setup. First, we can't actually do any causal experiment because it's highly impractical. I can't just go knock on Elon Musk's door and ask him to do a Twitter experiment for me. It's also really unethical. Um, and also social approvals are just really hard to recognize on like social media because they don't have a downvote button. They only have an upvote button. Um, and so you can see like an average tweet by Elon Musk gets 56 million views and like 18K replies. and 186k likes, and I don't get anything when I tweet something. So how do we how do we really uh, like understand what is a social approval versus a social disapproval, and how do we see if that impacts people's average toxicity? So to make this really short, uh, we basically ran a machine learning model to predict how much like how many likes a tweet will receive based on a bunch of uh, important features. And then we see what happens after a person received much more or much fewer than predicted amount of likes. So 
some kind of like quasi uh, experimental approach. And we did in fact find that users are much more hateful when they received more social approvals than they expected and vice versa, they are much less hateful when they received fewer social appro approvals than, we, than they expected. So in summary, um, we did find that users' hatefulness is linked to their social network. There's some sort of networked hate pro um, system going on here. And also we did find evidence to suggest that toxicity is a socially motivated behavior. And I think there's so many implications here. We can psychologically maybe intervene how people behave online to mitigate hate speech behavior. There's content moderation policies we could design to, to stop these hate, hateful behavior or at least curb them. Um, and also lots of room for future work. If you're a researcher interested in working on hate speech, uh, you should talk to me or Emilio or Luca or Joe. Um, and okay, that's all of my talk. I hope you check out all of our posters here. We have a big representation from our entire lab um, and happy to take any questions.